All right, guys, we're going to do a quick comparison uh, on charge rate using the supplied Ford Mobile Charger and my permanent Grizzle E Extreme Edition. Uh, I'll give you a little feedback as to why I chose to uh, install this one rather than just simply use the supplied cable. Okay, here we go with the Ford charger. Alright, blue lights, we're good. Alright, so with a um, NEMA 1450 outlet with a 40 amp circuit breaker uh, and the Ford Mobile charger installed, I'm currently uh, projected to get the battery back to 100% at 948 p.m. tonight. Uh, it is currently 514. Let's switch over to the Grizzle E. Okay, goes the Grizzle E. Clicked in. Happy blue lights. Okay, now the Grizzle E is plugged in, connected to the vehicle and charging. Uh, you can see with the Grizzle E installed, and again, I'm running from a 50 amp circuit uh, with the Grizzle E's dip switch set to 40 amp supply. Um, you always want your breaker to be 25% uh, larger. This unit can go up to 48 um, with a hard wire and a 60 amp breaker, um, but I'm running on a 50 amp breaker plugged into a NEMA 1450 running at 40 amps. Uh, you can see we save about an hour and 10 minutes compared to the um, supplied charger. So again, I've decided to install the Grizzle E uh, Extreme Edition. I wanted something permanent. Um, didn't want to install that Ford mobile charger uh, to the wall. Didn't want to have to plug in uh, every single time. Um, but because I'm not in a garage and uh, because I'm up in New England, um, I wanted something that could handle the elements. There's a lot of good options out there. Uh, the charge point, the juice box, they're both good. They're a little bit more expensive. Um, Ford has their own. Um, that's $800. The uh, charge point and the um, juice box are both in that $700. Uh, six to seven hundred dollar range um, but they come with uh, a lot of smart features this shed here uh, is a little too far away from my home I'm not gonna get good Wi-Fi here uh, nor do I need those smart features so this Grizzle E unit here uh, made in Canada uh, purchased on eBay it was 449 uh, Prime members of free delivery, so four to 49 delivered. Uh, it arrived in two days. Uh, quick and easy setup. Um, so far, so good. I'm happy with it. So, would I recommend the Grizzly? Um, for my situation, yes, I would. Um, if you don't care about smart features, um, you've got yourself a garage. I think the the cable that's supplied with the car. Is more than sufficient um, you're gonna get a full battery overnight um, you don't want to charge to 100% all the time anyhow um, really keep that battery in the 80% range go to 100 when you need it <clears throat> um, and, and that Ford charger on a um, 1450 outlet is gonna give you more than enough uh, energy to, to get through uh, your day if not a couple days um, but if you're like me you don't care about uh, all the smart features um, don't have a garage uh, the Grizzly is a is a great alternative to the uh, the higher priced um, charge point and um, juice box um, those seem to be the top two that most people are using um, this Grizzly in my opinion is the best bang for the buck all right guys thanks